Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we have a triple threat with a pregnancy test. We're gonna deconstruct it, talk about how it works, and then see what we can salvage for use in other projects in the future. Like many of my previous projects, I'm working with something that would have either been thrown away or recycled, but in this case, it was actually an expired product and I'm using it for new purposes. We'll start by taking it apart. With the digital test kit, it works very much like your traditional kind of a test, except this time you have an actual test chip inside that uses an optical reader to actually look at the results you get on the blue lines. While these are sealed quite well to keep moisture out of the inside of the components, it's easy to crack apart. You'll notice the first key piece here is the big part that's the absorbent strip that actually works much like a straw to get the fluid to the test area. This ends up with some kind of a wicking action, which is why they consider this a lateral flow test. You'll notice at this point, the key thing that falls out here is this nice little three volt battery. Since this is barely needed to be used for anything, that battery is fresh and new and ready for another purpose. And that brings us to the test strip, which is actually coated with monoclonal antibodies, which are specific for HCG. This is much like every other pregnancy test out there, and when it gets moist with the right kind of fluid, it will show up with either a positive or negative result. The PCB has a lot of important electronics on board, which is why they need this moisture absorbing tablet to keep everything dry. It basically works as your standard desiccant, much like the desiccant packets that I've made in previous videos. This side that has the LCD screen is held in place by a few little plastic tabs that are very easy to get cut off with a box cutter. With those removed, I can successfully separate the PCB from the plastic tray or board that was in place. And now you can see all the electronics that are here. Now for fun, let's go ahead and put the battery back in and fire up that microcontroller. That way, we can go ahead and take a look at what these electronics can do. With the other components removed, our little LCD screen is just flashing an error message, but you can see the general readings that it would normally give. On the other side, we have these three bright red LEDs. These are next to two optical readers that use a chromatographic principle to basically separate bound and free colored labels off of those test strips. Basically, all it's doing is measuring the reflectance of light and then using that to give us an indicator of our test results. Pregnant or not pregnant. I got some fun parts out of this to use in another project, including the battery and the LEDs. The LEDs, I just have to clip off the PCB and I can actually use the traces to hook them up to wires with a little bit of solder. And now for a nice piece of semi-useless trivia that has good word score value. This kind of test is known as a sandwich immunochromatographic assay. Yep, I told you it was a big useless word. As I'm sure you've seen, this little test that we might have thought was pretty simple actually is much more complicated. And to think, most people think it's just a pea stick. But the picture above is an actual complete positive test result, but the one taken apart in this video was a clean unused test. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.